I always associated PTSD with the members of the military. Um, I thought you would have to be in combat and see the atrocities of combat to suffer from such a disorder. When I was hospitalized, that was the first time uh, PTSD was mentioned. And this was well over 10 years after the initial incident. Um, I had an accumulation of calls that affected me too after the first incident. So uh, those uh, would come to me in my dreams and my nightmares. I was able to uh, sort of force them out of, during the daytime. If, if PTSD um, becomes a presumptive illness uh, under the legislation, how, how would that have changed your story? It, what I experienced was it's, it's, it's a biological brain injury that you have sustained with PTSD and you're under a lot of duress and the sheer amount of paperwork and testing and screening and hours of this that's put on top of you is quite onerous. Um, you don't sleep well as it is. You you have nightmares. Your days are full of anxiety. So you're extremely exhausted. And I used the antidote that uh, my brain felt like it was in a wheelchair, and I felt like the, what I had to go through to demonstrate that I had occupational PTSD. Um, could be somewhat equivalent to asking someone in a wheelchair to climb a flight of stairs and then do that a number of, time, number of times a day. Um, of course, I can't identify with what it's like to be in a, physically in a wheelchair, but that's what it felt like to me in my mind.